Hello everyone and welcome to another GeoGuessr video. Um, this week uh, it's not going to be a play along video. It's going to be a video that I've been waiting to make for months. It's literally been in the works for so long. You can see it on the screen already. It's a new map called the Community World. It says created by you, uh, so created by me. But uh, in reality, it's actually made by, by over a hundred experienced players and map makers. Um, that have been a part of the GeoGuessr community. Um, I'm the one publishing it because I was uh, like in charge of like uh, like putting it together. Basically, I also submitted some maps myself. But um, yeah, like definitely a lot of people have put so much time and effort into this. Um, we've been working on it for pretty much the past seven months. <clears throat> so I'm really hyped that we can finally release it. Um, so here in the description of the map you can find a document in which you can find all the information regarding the map so um yeah like the concept of the map it's similar to a diverse world in theory um and we have really taken a lot of inspiration from a diverse world that's created by mapper so i think uh it's a like a hopefully it'll be a good alternative map to play uh, alongside a diverse world and um, yeah, you can find more information like the location distribution. Uh, if you have any feedback to give for the map, you can uh, like click on this link. It'll take you to a feedback form where you can like give feedback. So you can report bad locations, suggest new locations even for the map. And uh, yeah, here you can find all the amazing people who worked on the map. Um, yeah, like it's genuinely mind blowing how many people helped out. Um, I think all different parts of the GeoGuessr community came together to work on this map, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a, it's been quite the journey. And um, just yesterday, I had uh, the release stream for this map uh, on my Twitch channel, which you will find linked in the description, and you will also find the link to a highlight of the of the release stream that happened yesterday. So there you can find. Um, like uh, like uh, like all the hype and everyone like it was crazy it was really mind blowing how many people showed up for it and uh, like how many people were interested in it even right now you can see like in like within a day the map has over 6000 plays and 500 people have liked the map so like, it's genuinely insane to me uh, like how much support this map has uh, received and i'm really happy like like the past 7 months uh, it was quite rough working on this it, uh, it was really taxing and really feels like uh, it's all you know bearing uh, <laughs> bearing fruit now so uh yeah you can find the ward linked in the description and uh, you can check it out um in the ward i'll also like explain certain things about um uh like the map and like uh, even this document a little bit uh, so you can you can uh, check it out more about over there um also with the launch of this map there's going to be pro leagues so you can see already there's three pro leagues created one for moving one for no moving and one for nmpz so you can join in for this uh the link to join the leagues will be in the description and uh it's it's really like it, it's called the pro league but it's just basically you get a daily challenge to play you know like uh like how you have like the default daily challenge in GeoGuessr. it's similar to that but um yeah, let's just go on for a month starting tomorrow so from 13 june till yeah like 30 days after um and uh, yeah you can join the leagues uh, the link will be in the description and uh, yeah you can practice this map play this map uh, we're already at like a hundred players on uh, this almost so that's uh, also crazy uh but yeah so it's been uh, it's been quite a <laughs> quite an epic map release if you ask me and um i've been really tired since then so <laughs> like um after yesterday's stream i was so tired because it's not just the stream itself but like the build up to it the preparation for it there's so much work that went to the whole map and uh, especially last few weeks it's been so hectic so um yeah i was kind of like uh, after the stream i was so tired and i also had to like still do some coordination stuff and set up the pro leagues and all of that uh, so i really haven't had time to just sit down and play the map myself 
So as you can see, my best score on it is still 23308. Um, actually, I got a 24.5k during uh, like uh, live challenges uh, on Play with Friends, but uh, that doesn't show up in the in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to try to get my first 25k. I mean, I'm definitely going to get my first 25k in this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> like, uh, <laughs> it'd be weird if I don't get a 25k on this map that I've been working on for so long. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it, I don't really think I'll go for like a speed run attempt because that's too sweaty and I just want to like have a chill first 25k. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'll still reset a bit because I don't want to have like a 50 minute video where I shattered just 25k, but hopefully, like, a, around 10 to 15 minute time, I think, will be nice. So I might reset a bit, uh, we'll see, and then uh, whenever I get that, uh, I'll be like, you'll see, you'll be seeing that in the video after this point. So um, yeah, I might have to edit it a bit, uh, like unless I get it first try, that'll be awesome. But um, if not, then uh, yeah. So I think that's uh, pretty much all I had to explain in the beginning. Um, I really hope that everyone enjoys the map. I'm really grateful to everyone who spent so much time working on it. Um, like over the past 24 hours, I've only received positive feedback. Like everyone just keeps telling me that they really enjoy the map. Um, I'm sure there'll be some like issues with it that uh, we can hope to fix in the future. But uh, just receiving such a positive response initially is uh, it's very nice, and it uh, it definitely it feels rewarding for sure. So that being said, um, I won't uh, <laughs> keep you waiting any longer. And uh, yeah, I will start my attempts now and let's see how it goes. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, not bad. There's a sign right here. R362 Athlone and Athleague. Athlone and Athleague are both here. Roscommon and Rahara. Rahara is to the east. Um... And we have knock, so that's there. Oh, it is slightly. Maybe we're just here. Very nice. That's a quick 5k to start off. <clears throat> Let's see if we have um, good luck with the rest of these. I think we're an Indo on this one, so that's not good. Kabupat and Mamasa, which I don't know where that is. Um, Mamasa. All right, interesting. Um, Kantor Bupati Mamasa. Okay, Bupati Mamasa is the information. Uh, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's gonna be pretty hard to find. Oh, Sulawesi Barat. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, what's Barat again? I forgot. Mamasa right here, it's west I guess. Um, so we are close to Mamasa. Oh my god, is it actually Paul Wally? Or uh... <laughs> that's actually epic if it is. Um, that's what it says, Mamasa. Okay, let's see the road angle. Uh... Where would we be exactly though? That's the question. Hmm. Somewhere here? No. That's not it. Okay, so we need to figure this out a bit. Uh, Poros Mamasa. Is that something they can find? Poros Pinrang. Poros Mamasa. Massa. Um, so that's the wrong road, I guess. Um, that also doesn't look correct. Um, Mamasa. Wait, what's this one called? Pinrang Polman Osango 
Ah, so that's the problem with uh, Indonesia. It's often. Okay, so here we see Mamasa. Poros Mamasa. Okay, so this is the road. We could be somewhere out here then. Um, yeah, like the labels on the map in Indonesia are uh, not not the easiest to understand. Let's move out a little bit to see if we can find. Ah, come on. Can find a, a bit more. So road bends here. I just wanted to see if there's a river to our west, but can't really be figured out. Um, okay, go back to spawn. Ah, there's a bridge. So yeah, <laughs> there's a river right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find this bridge. Maybe it splits into like three there. All right. So this is the road angle. Um, can we find a bridge that looks correct? Maybe that? Did it say Kantor Bupati Mamasa here? Um, I think it did. Yes, so this should be it. Oh, it's, I didn't move it, but yeah, nice. <clears throat> so that's a decent one. Wait, Stuart Highway? Is that the same as Stuart Highway? I don't know. <laughs> um, Kello Store, okay. Uh, so we're in Australia somewhere. Um, let's figure out uh, where exactly. What does this say? Um, Kellor. Oh, that's the place name. Okay. Um, so let's see if we find some more information. That looks useful. Narandera Shire? In what county is that? Can we read it? Ah, I see a yellow plate, so we might be in New South Wales. Virajuri, Virajubi County or something? I don't think I've heard of that. Um, Narantara. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should uh, look for more information. Because, uh, yeah. Um, hey, I'll leave a checkpoint here and let's move. Maybe we can find a better sign than that. But, uh, yeah, I think this map is really cool because, um, like, it's all handpicked. So, a lot of different people have sent in a lot of different locations, and I'm sure they found like a like uh, they found like a lot of cool looking locations, some interesting finds, and just uh, ooh, N40 to the west. What could N be? So N usually means a city starting with N. Ninken, maybe. Hmm. Did it say Warren, or am I making that up? Maybe I'm making that up. N, N, N. Do you have anything starting with N? It's kind of flat, so I don't really want to look in like the mountains of New South Wales. Huh, okay. But as I was saying, it's like a handpick, so there's going to be a lot of cool locations. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of them. And uh, for moving games especially, it's really nice because all the locations are at like intersections, railway crossings, bridges, all that. So I think it should make it um, a lot more fun and like speed runnable playing this map. There's also a railway south of us, I just noticed that. So that could come in handy. Um, is that a sign? Oh. Kingston Road, interesting. I could search for like Stuart Highway. <laughs> but I don't know if that's like easily findable or. Huh. Okay, hmm, that's not, uh, that's not looking promising, is it? I've kind of forgotten the place names I saw as well. <clears throat> it's 
So let's hope we find a better sign somewhere close by. Uh, we don't have to travel for ages to find something. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm um, I'm really excited to like actually play the map now and stuff. Uh, oh, WW. Virajuri County. Okay, so WW, what could that be? Wagga Wagga, maybe? That would make sense. Um, Galore, is that what it was? I think it was. Let's see the spawn. It is a four way. I think this is it. Very nice. Alright, so that one's. It, it could have been a bit quicker, but uh, that's alright. So we're not uh, going for the speed on this. Uh, we're just uh, getting our first 25k and uh, taking in the map, soaking in the in the fruits of the labor that was put in for like the past seven months into creating this. Uh, but yeah, it's like a very carefully like curated map, and uh, I really hope that. Um, more more and more people get to play this map, enjoy this map, and um, yeah, just have a good time playing it, you know. I think that's, like, as map creators, at least for me, I think the biggest thing is that uh, if people have fun playing the map, I think that's all that matters, you know. Um, so I really hope that's, uh, that's the case. I've received some really nice feedback, uh, like positive feedback, but... Um, Naturally, I can understand if there's a uh... <clears throat> like some people have some complaints with the map or um, things like that. Which, by the way, you can uh, like give your feedback, uh, whether positive, negative, whatever, in the feedback form that's in the description of the map. So that way we can uh, keep the map updated and uh, listen to what people say and uh, yeah having so many people working on the map makes it so much easier to keep the map updated and uh, <clears throat> that's the benefit of this so even though it's like published by me and um, stuff like even if i am not able to like edit the map make changes update it um, like the people who are working on the map one of them can always send me an updated version of a certain country or something and I can just fix it real quick. So that's uh, really good, I think. But what isn't good is that we aren't finding any information this round. All I know that is, is that uh, we are in Brazil, but uh, <laughs> that's not enough, is it? <clears throat> Come on. Also, this movement. I really hope Google fixes this. Like, it's, uh, movement used to be really nice earlier, and uh, seems like progressively Google has made it worse. It made it harder to move on the map, or like uh, in Street View, uh, which makes moving games a little less fun. But <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's fine. So. Like this, like I'm moving one step at a time, which is really not good for a place like Brazil, at least, where you don't find signs close to you all the time. But uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I don't have to reset because of the movement. There's also a way to overcome this, and uh, that is uh, with the use of Unity script, but. Uh, thing is unity script should only be used if you are playing it for, for f playing the map for fun rca norte seja Se seja rca what is that i don't know Uh, but yeah, like uh, Unity script is really cool, but uh, make sure you don't use it for like competitive stuff and um, you know, like when uh, you're going for like a record or a personal best or something. BR290, that's uh, something to start off. 262, 251, uh, 280 is here. Or oh, 290. We could be down here. That makes sense in my head. Um, 
let's see. The grouse is grouse a place maybe. What's the road angle here? Let's see. It's like that. Um, interesting. I don't really see too much. No, I don't really see any grouse here. Um, I guess we'll keep moving for a bit. It's fine. We don't have to. <clears throat> I don't really have to be like a uh, super quick. If this was a speedrun, I'd be scanning like a maniac to like the right road angle and all of that but uh, for a little bit of a more casual game I think uh, <laughs> I think it's fine if I don't try hard that much um, Lima Cavera Cavera hmm. ah 290 goes all the way here even wonder if we're close to Uruguay or like uh, Argentina because it said uh, like there was Argentina flags on that sign earlier so I'm not sure guess we'll find out and try to yeah a lo lot of hotels here as well do Cavera what does that mean hmm Interesting. So I guess uh, 377 and 290 are the same in this part. Um, wait, didn't this, we see this hotel name somewhere? I'll leave a checkpoint, but uh, I think we did. And then maybe we are right here. Yeah, that makes sense. Very nice. All right, so last round, and we are on uh, what 15 minutes? That's that's decent. There's a railway right here, um, so we could maybe get like a sub 20 if uh, everything goes well here. Um, and that's okay with me. I think this is new fee. Let's take a look. Or is it Ontario actually? I don't know if that's speed, like uh, the maximum sign that we just saw. Nicole Island? I don't know if that's an Ontario thing, but... Maybe we can find a road number or something. But we're definitely in Canada. Let's see. I think we'll find something. Rossport and there's actually a map here that looks like new fee no or am I making that up the village of Rossport ah uh, where in Ontario would this be here no, this feels like new fee. I'm gonna look at new fee for a bit. Mm. Um, okay. There's a Lewis spot. Ross spot. I don't see that. Come on. Okay, um, can move for a bit more. Maybe we'll get a road number. Just maybe. That is Rossport. Um, okay, I don't really know if that helped. Sadic. 
I feel like I've seen those kind of maximum signs in uh, Ontario, but I don't know if Newfoundland has the same. But the vibes feel like Newfoundland to me. Oh, never mind, it is Ontario. This is a Ontario sign. So I've been looking in the wrong place the whole time. So where do you think... Oh, Rossport. Ah, well, that didn't take long now, did it? <laughs> if you know what country it is, then uh, I think it helps out a bit. But uh, that's cool. So let's line this up. And make sure we get the correct... Here's the railway. Ah, so we're here. Very nice. That is the 25k. That's my first ever 25k on a community world. Which is a uh, sub 20 minutes, which is nice. Uh, it's a, it was a pretty chill game. Um, I did reset like a few times so that uh, I didn't have like a 40 minute game or something. Where Mainly because of the bad movement. Because uh, like you saw in some rounds, the movement just gets really weird and uh, really slow. But I hope Google fixes that and uh, this round it wasn't too bad. So that was a nice and diverse seed. We had a Canada round, we had one in Brazil, we had one in uh, Ireland, one in Indonesia and one in Australia. So yeah, all five in different continents, South America, North America, Europe, Asia and Oceania. So that was a cool seed. Um, very nice to finally have a... <laughs> finally have a 25k on this map on my and uh, a map that i've been working on for so long uh, i see that, like a lot of people have some really good times already you can see uh, the leaderboards and uh, yeah it's only been a day and people have gotten really good times so i'm really really happy to see this like uh, look at this 7.3k people have explored the map now and um it's only been like what it's not even been that long since like I recorded the intro. So <laughs> it's really cool and uh, really, really cool to see so many people enjoying it. Uh, maybe in the future I could do another video on like uh, country streaks on this map or uh, maybe even a speedrun attempt. Uh, hopefully like they fix the movement before I do that because uh, yeah, right now it's just not too fun for me to go for speedruns with like the broken movement. Um, but yeah, maybe we could do some streaks, maybe we could do something else, we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really appreciative of uh, everyone who helped out with this project and really nice to see people enjoying this map. I hope uh, this map reaches more people and uh, a lot of other people also find joy in playing this map. Um, so yeah, as I said in the intro, there'll be some links in the description which you can check out uh, regarding this. and. Don't forget about the pro leagues, which you can also join. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video then. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a nice day.